As you heard earlier, Kasatu has back ANC Deputy President Silva Maposa to succeed President Jacob Zuma as party president. The Federation says it will work hard to lobby and influence ANC structures to support Ramaphosa's candidacy at the party's elective conference in 2017. To look into this matter, we are now joined from our Pretoria studios by political analyst from the University of South Africa, Professor Lisiba Depo. Prof, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to your world. Finally, Kosato has spoken out on who they want to back for their backing for the ANC presidency. What could be the influencing factor to choose Ramaphosa? <laughs> Before I even comment, let me just thank uh, South Africa for having been so much endowed with prophets and even messiahs. Let's give Saudi an opportunity to lead us to the promised land. Yes, um, when it comes to, to Kosato and Ramaphosa, very interesting indeed because this turnaround uh, is very telling to me they they seem not to be keen uh, to change tag in relation to who was supposed to take charge yet the history of the organization to which they are aligned said um, ramaphosa ought to be the one who should take over but up till last week or so stimo jamin unequivocally wasn't in favor so was his colleague if anything, in a muted fashion, they were gunning for Ngosazana Zuma. So it's fine. If it is Ramaphosa, it is consistent with their practice, consistent with their custom, consistent with their tradition. They often say whoever is the deputy president of the ANC, not necessarily of the country, is the one who should take over. So I think it might be time for him to do so. Whether he's the right person to lead South Africa, I'm not sure of that because personally I am of the view that the systemic rot in the organization runs so deep, so deep that even Ramaphosa cannot redeem the ANC from itself. If anything, the history of the liberation movement tells me once a liberation movement reaches this stage, the best it can do is take a break for five or ten years, go and regroup, refresh itself, remodel itself and then come back. Now, Prof, you just mentioned there that there was there must have been a debate between uh, whether they would go, uh, Kosato would go with uh, Ngozazana Zamini Zuma or with uh, Ramaphosa. Now, Kosato has come out and said the decision was um, came after a robust um, a sort of a, a, a conflict or debate during the CEC. Do you believe the Federation is united in the choice to to back uh, Ramaphosa as the next president of the ANC? I don't think it has more to do with robustness. It has more to do with political opportunism and political expediency. Look, uh, J J President Jacob Zuma, uh, in the language of politics, is a lame duck president. He has nothing to offer those who back him today. But yesterday, he was a worthy horse to back because he could at least dish out patronage. And d indeed, he did that perhaps even to the extreme, if not ridiculous extreme. But right now, based on the politics of the stomach, I think people are t beginning to position themselves and are beginning to say, who chose to back? And I'm one of those who may say, yes, logic might be dictating to some that given what President Jacob Zuma has done and what the name Zuma has become synonymous with, it might not be opportune to back Nkosazana Zuma. Her credentials notwithstanding. She has fairly good credentials. But uh, equally so is Ramaphosa. But some might argue he's damaged good. Not only because of Marigana, but also because if you look at how much wealth he has amassed over the years, many a people would say those who have amassed so much wealth because of political connections are not necessarily wealthy of the assumption of the office of head of state. But you can hear others say, perhaps those are the ideal people to do so because they are rich. They are not going to set themselves up and their families. They will just get in there, running, and serve the people. If it's a risk that South Africa wants to take, so be it. But I think it is not the ANC that can take us to the promised land. They must retreat, take a break, make an introspection, be born again after five or ten years. That's what the history 
of the liberation struggle dictate to me. Now, just speaking of Ramaphosa, do you think he is he has the support from the branches and uh, provinces to go all the way? I would argue in his favor to the extent that the history of the organization attests to that. Right? I would I would say yes, and I suspect, um, as I, 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 I said yesterday, that he is almost certainly going to get it. As we get closer to the to the election 2017 elections people are going to look more at their interests rather than what south africa needs at this juncture given the challenges it is faced with don't worry about the women slick not long they will be there they themselves will be coming on board don't worry about the mk veterans the the mapatres they will be thinking about am i going out am i losing all the tags that go with being this office or am i backing this horse and invoke tradition practice and um, traditions practice and custom in the ANC expediently you can quickly say but why shouldn't it be Ramaphosa because that's how we have been doing it all along and, and politicians as you know with a straight face they will turn around and say well we made a mistake if they are humble enough and then we are embracing Ramaphosa so I think uh, the branches will support him even those who are pretending otherwise will come on board now, Kosato played. As did, of course, Kosato. Uh, Kosato played a, a key role in advancing the pr uh, the presidency of Jacob Zuma at the 2007 ANC elective conference in Bulukwane. Is the federation still holding some persuasive powers to sway for Cyril Ramaphosa? Not as, not as much as it did uh, yesterday. Same can be said for the um, uh, uh, the, the youth league. But again, they are part of an alliance and they are wealthy food soldiers that um, have some networks on the ground. Um, they will bring a sizable chunk of the electorate to assist the, the, the ANC. Therefore, even those who may not necessarily want to embrace them, given the frictions and the ructions they've had together, they would still want to embrace them because they really are an organized lot on the ground. And in the rural areas, people still believe if you bring at least hampers and you speak the lingo of the community, you can still win the day. And I suspect, yes, Kosati will play a role, will be influential, will bring reasonable chunk of votes, whether enough to carry them again into the state house or into parliament as a leading party, I'm not sure. Now, Prof, the ANC says Kosati's stance on Ramaphosa as the next ANC leader is unfortunate and will not bolster unity. What do you make of the statement? Yes, uh, look, the history of the man says he's a good negotiator, it's all that. But the past 10 years, right, has rendered him almost um, important in that he said them almost waiting right and ensuring that he doesn't offend or he doesn't is not caught on the wrong side on the wrong side of the divide and negotiating and maneuvering his way and in the course thereof i think he lost a, a lot of credibility and that's why some would argue it can no longer be him it's not the ramaphosa of yesterday unless we are talking about his previous glory and think it can turn things around and that's why even within the COSATU and within the structures of the, of the ANC, there are those who believe that, uh, yes, per tradition, but there's so much harm the presidency has done, so much harm that the leadership has done. Who are the 101 uh, veterans who are talking? Who are the safe South Africa people in the forefront? These are the members of the ANC who are saying, maybe we need other people to take the country forward. The current crop especially the top six if it is possible but allow me to make this point south africa is talking about ramaphosa and Nkosasana out of 50 plus million people right why is it simply because the electoral act is flawed you elect the party the party elect the person never mind how flawed certainly jacob zuma would not have been our president had we had a system that was open like Zimbabwe despite its challenges. If indeed we change the electoral act as the ANC once sought to do so in 2004, then anybody, 
even a daughter or a son of a sharecropper can raise his or her hand. But as things stand, you are almost forced to make a choice between two people as if there are only two people or as if there is only one party from which we can draw the leadership of the country. I'm calling for, as I did yesterday and today, for the change of the Electoral Act so that anybody who has the ability, even those who are interested, can be approached and be invited to come on board and then contest. Now, Prof, let's shift focus from uh, the ANC party leadership and Kofati's uh, support for Ramaphosa. Move on to another announcement they made um, of, uh, calling for Mineral Resources Minister Museven Zizwane to be fired. This is a very strong stance. Well, yes, to be fired by who? Because, in fact, under normal circumstances, in, in developed democracies like Botswana just next door, the men lied, some would argue, in parliament. The head of state even reprimanded him, right? Some in other mature democracies, and some of those are obtained in the, in, in, on the continent, he would have at least owned up and resigned. He would have fallen on his sword. But if you are saying it is the ANC or the head of state who will fire him, I'm sorry. The immediate history that I'm not of, familiar with, and I'm living under, doesn't lend itself to that possibility. Prof, we have to leave it there for now. Thank you so much for joining us. That was political analyst from the University of South Africa, Professor Liseba Defo, joining us.